Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a what I got in my Easter basket video. You're probably thinking, what, you're going to review candy? No, I don't want candy for Easter. I want stuff. I know that sounds terrible, but it's like, if you're going to spend money on candy, I'd much rather have things I actually want, and I don't want candy. So anyway, I got five things for Easter, as well as two things that didn't come in the mail, but that's okay. So, I am going to talk about my favorite things that I, well, not my favorite things, but everything that I got. So, you guys, I was just trying to do something in my Easter basket. So, the first thing that I got in my Easter basket was something I was super excited about. It is the Slip Pure Silk Pillowcase. This looks so interesting. I saw it at Sephora. Um, it was really awesome. It was like $80, but I'm like... I would never buy it, but I'm glad that I got it as an Easter present. It is an anti-aging, anti-sleep crease, and anti-bedhead uh, pillowcase. I'm most likely the anti-aging. It looks like this. I put it on my pillow. Um, I haven't washed it yet, but I was just showing you guys. It still has the lens in it, but this is the anti-sleep. It looks really weird, but it's actually really comfortable. Um, I rested my head on it today. It says it's like an eight-hour beauty treatment every night, which is awesome. I don't know what the silk does to your skin, but it doesn't make your skin crease or crack or anything. It just looks super, super luxe. I'm really excited to try it. I'm definitely going to do a review separately on it to see what I really think. Um, I know I'm only 19 years old, um, so... There's not much that I can really anti-age, but it's good as a preventative, which is what I really want. And when you open it up, it says, sleep with us. Tell your friends. Sleep silk pillowcase. The better you care for your silk. What? Hint, the better you care for your slip, the better it will care for you. And there's like care instructions on how to take care of it. It says sweet dreams. The packaging's really adorable. It says recommended by sleeping on silk is recommended by dermatologists, plastic surgeons, hairdressers, and beauty experts, which is awesome. So I'm really, really, really excited to try that. I also got the little macaroon lip balm. Um, I saw this at Sephora. I was like, this is so adorable. I can't stand it. And I love macaroons. Uh, the lip balm's whatever. I mean, it's not the greatest lip balm in the world, but it's good for just keeping in your bag and it's really 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 cute too and I believe this was like twelve dollars at Sephora next if you don't know already I don't think you do I am I'll show you right here obsessed obsessed with the Sunday Riley oils I have all of them I'm obsessed with the whole Sunday Riley line uh, for skincare they've really been life-changing especially this Luna oil um, it has some retinol in it. I don't want to get into this because I want to do a whole separate video on the Sunday Riley oils, but they are phenomenal, um, technology and they're just phenomenal products. And every time they come up with a new product, which isn't quite often, which is good, I really want to try it. So this is a, the new Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream by Sunday Riley. And it looks really cool. It looks just like blue water. And if you can see... The texture's really, really light, which I'm super excited for, especially because it's now like spring and summer, but it melts right into the skin. It melts right in. So I'm super excited. And it smells like water, just not like water has a smell. It smells like, uh, like the ocean. It smells really good. So I'm excited to use this after like my Luna oil or my Artemis. I love Luna and Artemis are my favorites, but... I love the Sunday Riley line. And then I got two perfumes. One perfume I got was Chanel Number no. 5. I've been wanting Chanel Number no. 5 for a long, long, long time. Um, and I don't know why I never got it. I just feel like it's not a scent I would ever, like, out of the bottle. Um, Charles Gross on uh, YouTube definitely talked about this as his absolute favorite fragrance ever. And... I can see it's not my favorite fragrance ever. It's very powdery, very almost like baby wipey. But as a fragrance person that I am, and I love collecting fragrance, I just dropped it. 
I love collecting fragrance. I really wanted to have this in my collection and wear it. And I've been wearing it um, every once in a blue moon when I'm really... Well, obviously it's only been one day for Easter. I wore it when I got it for Easter. But I also just... I'm going to be wearing it every once in a while because I love the way it smells on me. It smells really, really good on me. Uh, out of the bottle, it's very, very, very grandma -y, Very strong powder just try it on your skin uh that is like pure perfume like that is what the art of perfume is trying something on your skin and really experiencing it i wore it out all day yesterday and then i sprayed it again before bed and i had a great great night's sleep it was a really 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 fun fragrance and i am so glad that i added that i got this to add to my collection and then another perfume i got is a diptyque perfume and it is their 34 now 34 is very interesting 34 actually was launched in 2011 to celebrate diptyque's 50th anniversary it's named after the street of the first diptyque boutique um it's a very awesome scent it has black currant green leaves fir leaf citrus pink pepper cardamom clove cinnamon rose geranium tuberose iris violet woods resin balsam and eucalyptus so this is actually representing what the original boutique smelled like um so it looks like this this is in the bigger bottle it has a uh, magnetic cap so it literally just like attaches to the cap which i think is really cool um it's in the oval shape just like the diptyque labels it has a it, inspired by the wicks of the can oh look at my eye <laughs> inspired by the wicks of the candle and it just has a regular spray in my opinion now they also have a white version which is better for summer um i don't i'm glad i got the 34 now though even though it isn't spring and summer um I pick up on the spice, the cinnamon, the clove. That's what I pick up on first. It smells very, very, very good. I definitely love this fragrance. Cinnamony, I don't get a whole lot of the other stuff. Maybe as it settles, but I haven't worn this out yet. So I'm really excited to get a chance to wear this perfume. Um, let me know if you've tried it and let me know if you like it or Chanel number no. 5. But I'm really excited to add this. I just love this magnet cap to add to my collection of perfumes. But anyway, guys, what fun things did you get for Easter? What beauty things? So let me know. I'm really, really curious. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.